Hey guys, Matt Master here, and uh, this is a uh, a video about a custom archetype I've made. It is, uh, of course, you, from what you can see, it is Ruby, uh, the Rooster Teeth TV show, and I've made this uh, kind of custom archetype using uh, Yu-Gi-Oh card maker. And uh, just want to show you guys what I've got. Um, hopefully, get some dual videos up uh, of me and my friends play play testing this deck, uh, me playing it and them playing their cards, their decks. Uh, I like it. Uh, I showed one of my friends, he thought it was a little broken, so I made a little bit of an adjustment to it. Uh, but I would like your guys' opinion. opinion. Um, I think there is maybe 13 cards to the archetype I have, and I'm going to make another one, uh, one that I haven't made yet. I haven't done, I just haven't uh, put together. Um, and I'm going to be showing, we're displaying this maybe once a week. Uh, hopefully to get your guys' opinion and everything, just get it out there. Um, so please leave your comments down below of what you think of this deck, what you think of this archetype, all that stuff. Well, archetype, not deck yet. Archetype, uh, what you guys think? Now, let's get into it. So, first card is Ruby, Ruby Rose. She is a level 4 Fire Warrior, 1800 attack, 1300 defense. Her effect reads, if this card is normal special summon, you can add one Ruby monster from your deck to your hand. Also, once per turn, you can pay 500 life points to banish one card from your opponent's graveyard. Now, she searches any monster, Stratos, any of your ruby monster, Stratos, uh, for the deck. Really good. And then, you know, paying 500 life points, banish a card from your graveyard. I possibly might go to 1,000, hit or miss maybe, just because you are just banishing from the grave. Grave's a pretty good resource, but, you know, for some decks, that doesn't really matter. Uh, next is the field spell, Ruby Beacon Academy. I made it Ruby, so it is searchable with the archetype. And has synergy and all that stuff. I hate when field spells, it's not archetype-specific searching. Like, uh, especially with, like, like with, um, Ignites. You know, it's Ignis or Phoenix. It's not an Ignite card or, like, sub like for sub terrors, it's the Hidden City. That doesn't even have sub terror in its name. Cosmo Town. It at least has Cosmo in its name, so I believe it's searchable. I believe. Don't quote me on that, but I think it is searchable. <clears throat> but yeah, field spells definitely should be searchable with the archetype. If all the other spells and traps are, you might as well. Even Spiral. I believe even Spiral's uh, field spell has Spiral in its name, so it's searchable. I believe so. And Spiral is the archetype where they have cards called Spygal and Resort Staff, which doesn't even have Spiral in its name. Like, really. And their field spell is searchable. Wow. I believe it's searchable. Don't quote me on that. So, this is Ruby Beacon Academy. It's a field spell. Uh, all Ruby monsters gain 300 attack and defense points. Um, that's standard for most field spells nowadays. You know, fine. Uh, during your standby phase, you reveal one Ruby card from your hand, shuffle it into your deck, and draw one card. Kind of Cosmo Towny. Um, I like that feel because, you know, it's the fairy tale kind of stuff. I like that feel on it. Um, <laughs> it could be worse. Uh, the, I forget what the effect was before, but it was a lot. It was broken. Uh, and you can banish this card from your graveyard to normal summon a ruby monster uh, from, your hand, from your hand in addition to your normal, to your standard normal summon. You can only use this effect ruby beacon academy once per turn. So you can't banish multiple copies. It gives you an extra one once per turn. A little bit of attack boost, and you know what? Lets you recycle through your deck. Not too bad. I like it. Um, I might change maybe the reveal one ruby, cycle it into your deck, and shuffle back in your deck to maybe just discard it and draw a card. Could work. Could not work. <laughs> Either or. I think it's kind of balanced. I think it's balanced. Um, leave your opinions guys down below. Next is the first Xyz monster. Yes, this is an Xyz ba based archetype. This is Ruby Crow. Uh, I could have put, I frankly didn't want to put the whole last name for it, but Crow, fine. Uh, he is a dark rank 4 uh, warrior type monster, 2800 attack, uh, 1800 defense. does require two level 4 ruby monsters, so it is not generic, but the archetype itself is fine. I, it's kind of like Satellanites, uh, in a, in a, it's kind of like Satellanites in the sense that it can splash out monsters, but still be balanced enough that it doesn't need to, uh, it doesn't need to be slow paced for it. Uh, and especially with Norton now banned, this is fine. At the, t at the time of this recording, Norton is on that, uh, that emergency list kind of thing. 
So, uh, its effect is once per turn you can detach one exceeds material from this card and destroy one monster your opponent controls. I used to have it destroy or remove one, detach one exceeds material. Oh, I forgot I spelled detach wrong. I'll, I'll fix that later. Uh, I don't know how I got the R in there, but yeah. Uh, I used to have it detach one exceeds material, destroy all monsters your opponent controls. Yeah, that was kind of broken after I thought about it. And then as a second effect, if this card leaves the field, add a ruby monster from your deck, uh, from your graveyard to your hand. Bit of recycling, uh, that's what the deck usually does. It usually has monster summoned to the field, recycling, but I figured it's, it's kind of a little weak to, uh, field wipes. So, balanced. Uh, and our final card for today, doing four, just like, you know, each set, uh, Ruby Yang Long. If this card is normal special summon, you can special summon one Ruby monster from your hand. That's how you get, that's how it, it swarms the field a bit. Uh, I want to change, I just realized I should change that to besides herself. <clears throat> um, just so you can't just spam it out. I'm going to change that. So it'll be, so to officially read, if this monster is normal special summon, you can special summon one Ruby, mon one Ruby monster from your hand other than Ruby Yang Xiao Long. Yang Xiao Long. Uh, and then once per turn, you can send the top two cards from your deck to your hand. For, top two cards from deck to the graveyard to destroy one monster on the field. Destroy one card on the field. I think that's at least a little bit balanced. Lose two cards from your deck, destroy a monster. Fine. Uh, also going to have that first effect once per turn as well. So guys, what do you, uh, what'd you guys think about this archetype? I'm going to make a few changes to it. Um, I hope you guys liked the video. Please leave your comments down below what I should change besides the stuff I said. And what you guys feel about it. Your expectations from the deck. Um, and what you expect to see for the future. Hope you guys liked the video. Please like, comment, subscribe. And remember guys, peace out. Keep dueling.